Hey Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a singles reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for at any time in the month of May. Ooh, this is heading in a new direction, heading in the right direction. So this could be somebody heading right into your life, or you could be heading in a new direction. This is mastering your emotions and, you know, kicking it into high gear. Something is happening. Ooh. Now you're single. This is for singles. If you are in a coupled relationship, you should not be watching this reading. This reading is not for you. Or if you're in a coupled relationship, you should have the balls to get out of it before you watch this reading. Unless you don't have any integrity, but you know. This is for singles. This is really moving in a new direction. Seriously. This is moving forward, getting to a better place, you know, putting your pedal to the metal. So somebody, <clears throat> somebody could be heading into your life or you could be deciding to take back control, take the reins. You know, there could have been a rejection. There could have been a rejection. And this is somebody finding the confidence and the willpower and the strength to move forward transition so you could be having an Aries Leo Sagittarius or cancer that is coming into your life or you could be taking on this energy of high confidence high self-esteem you know you got this new found um, vigor within you maybe you got this new vision you're taking a new approach you're definitely moving to a better place there's no doubt about it um, decision has been made to take back control of your life. So Libra, something is happening in a good way. It's a very positive situation, whatever it is, because it's like you're you're definitely taking back control. You may have been dealing with an individual or a situation where there was no growth. You may have been somebody may have been holding on to somebody that's not well suited for them. Now they're ready to take that next step. So it looks like you are guys are stepping into unknown territory. Ooh, you got a big, huge opportunity here, Libra. This is a golden opportunity. Somebody has manifested something new. So this is something new. Could be a gift. Some, some, you could be receiving something seriously. Somebody could be giving you something, something solid, something stable, something secure, something you can really keep, something you can hold on to. You could be receiving even an offer of love, you know, and you may decide to take it. Maybe you see a new opportunity for love. Maybe you make a decision that you're ready for love. This is like, I'm ready to take that step. You may have been going back and forth with your decision, you know, back and forth, back and forth, whether you're ready, you, whether you wanted to move on or not. But I see somebody really just making the decision that it is time. It is time to take back control of my life. There is no doubt. There is some bitterness. There is some resent. There is some, maybe there's some vindictiveness. There may have been some animosity. Um, somebody may have not been seeing a situation clearly. They may have, you know, been in denial about the truth, but it sees, it looks to me as though that's just about over. I really feel like it is because I see you guys moving to a better spot. The outcome is you guys moving to a peaceful place. The three of pentacles reversed. There's no... coming together there's no working together there i mean this is what this is time to refocus you may have given up for a minute maybe maybe you let a negative situation hold you down you may have been in denial. Somebody may have been in denial. They weren't seeing a situation clearly. There's no communication with somebody that could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that wasn't well suited for you. Um, and that is making the cut. Maybe you're deciding to make the cut and focus on new love. You know, a new opportunity. So there could be a newfound confidence, a newfound inspiration a newfound desire to focus on a new opportunity here to cut the cord seriously with somebody that has 
kept you in a troublesome space. Anyway, Libra, you have uh, you may be beginning to realize. Maybe you're realizing that there's a real opportunity here. Or are you starting to see there's an opportunity after being delayed? Things have been delayed. I think that somebody has been stalling or maybe even blocking the truth in denial over a situation. Holding on to an old relationship. I can't pretend I would love to, to pretty this up for you guys, but you know, this is for singles. You guys, you have to make that cut. You got to cut that cord and stop focusing on a loss. You know, this is an opportunity to take charge. It really is to be the boss of your own life. And I feel like some of you are deciding to do that. It's like you're, you're deciding to take back control. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, this is taking back control. And this is right in the middle. The middle card is the overall energy, the situation right now that's breaking a bond and taking back control of your life. It's like I'm taking the reins. I'm the king of this world. I'm in the driver's seat of my life. And I'm not going to be controlled by deception. I'm not going to be controlled by my pride. I'm not going to be controlled by rejection. I'm not going to be controlled by other people. I'm not going to be controlled by unhealthy situations. I'm taking back control. So, you know, I feel like that's where you are at. You're, it's like, I'm being the boss. See, I'm the boss. I'm in control. This is very, this is the emperor. I mean, it is the king of wands, but... I'm just saying, I mean, this guy is in, I'm taking back control. So it looks to me like you guys are taking back control and you're deciding that it's time to go out and have fun. It's time to date. It's time to, you know, put myself out there. It's time to socialize. You may be deciding to get on some dating apps. Maybe you need to get on some dating apps. Maybe it's time to go out with your friends. Maybe it's time to live it up. You know, I think that you're deciding to open up. Um, put yourself out there. I think there's been reluctance to put yourself out there, but I think that you're beginning to realize that it's time to just go out and celebrate your life, break yourself free from a toxic bond. So I see you guys dating. I see you having fun. I see you guys releasing some tension that you've been held, holding on to. Um, some of you guys have been holding on to a person that is emotionally unavailable, that has made you bitter and resentful and upset. Somebody that doesn't speak, doesn't talk, doesn't communicate. And I think that you're, you are deciding that you're ready. You are ready for a fresh start. You're ready to step into that unknown territory and you're ready to go. I see like a newfound excitement here where you guys are ready to fly. It's like, I'm ready. I'm going. I'm on my way. So I think this is a week of, of having fun. It's a week of probably communicating with others, you know, putting yourself out there. Um, hmm. Two of swords. But I think you're still going back and forth. There's, there's divided loyalty here. There's back and forth energy where sometimes you start to go back to the one that broke you, the one that hurt you. But then you, you just, you, you know, there's a little bit of flip of flop in here. Um... You are emotionally guarded, but I think that you're curious and you got this new energy here where you're just like, oh, I'm ready to go. There's newfound excitement. So that's what I see. I see you guys deciding that it's time to go. It's time to go. Um, there could be some a new fresh start coming into your life. There could be. I see a curious energy here, an exciting energy, um, a newfound confidence. I think you're headed in the right direction. You're still letting go, but, you know, I think that you are definitely making huge progress and you're about to get to a happier place. Um, you've probably held on to a karmic contract and you now... Maybe now you realize that you were... I mean, this is a karmic contract. Somebody has been allowing themselves un to be treated unfairly by holding on to a karmic contract where they didn't get accepted. And now it's like this newfound excitement to just...
give up. This is like giving up. It is. There's no growth here. I need to go find something stable, solid, and secure. I need I need happiness. I want I want happiness. I want stability. I think you're looking, you're excited about finding something stable you know something secure i think you're you're looking i think you're definitely this week you're looking you're 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 out looking for stability so i see you guys moving like taking the range you may be traveling you may be you know going out getting in your vehicle and deciding i'm gonna go out tonight you know i'm gonna go out i'm gonna have some fun i'm gonna party I'm going to mingle. You may be deciding that it's time to just make a move. You know, it's time to literally make a This is making moves. So, so I see you guys making moves and putting yourself out there. Seriously. Um, there's been a place of, you guys have been in a place of, of lack of confidence, lack of courage, stagnation, uh, you don't almost feel like you went through a period of giving up, but I, I think that you're taking back the reins. Like I said, you may have been impractical. You may have been focusing on everything but love, but I really feel like that that is changing. Yeah, you're taking action right now. It's like you've got these new desires that to go. i got to go. I have desires that need to be met. I have needs that need to be met. I'm excited. I got this. got to go. I gotta go. So somebody, if you are single, somebody could be heading into your life. If you're single and you're ready, you're ready. And it looks like you are ready. Somebody is ready here. They are with that fool card. It's like, I'm ready. You're ready. Somebody could be heading into your life. You can meet this person as probably a fire sign. I mean, we have a lot of fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is an exciting opportunity to, you know. have some fun by the looks of things this could be i mean this is almost i mean this is this is, could be even a sexual energy i mean i'm just being honest with you here maybe somebody is you know needs to go get laid i mean i'm just being honest with you people don't like that but <laughs> it is what it is i it is what it is um it's like there's this curious energy where it's time for me to go. I got this, 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 this vision, you know, what's out there. So I see you guys putting your out self out there and perhaps getting yourself into a situation where you have a little bit of fun. I mean, that's what I see. So, yeah, <laughs> that's what I got. That's what I think I can see for you in May, Libra. I see you guys, you know finding that confidence and the courage to move into something different putting yourself out there dating online or in the social sector you know somewhere it could be anywhere it could be out going out with your friends it could be online it could be anywhere and i see you guys you know having a connection with somebody there's still some flip-flopping though there is but it could lead to sex. That's what I got. 